All right, today we're gonna to talk about an overview of ERP systems in the water utility space. Now, it's really critical that you pick and implement the right solution because that's the lifeblood of your organization. Everything you do from asset management, financials, collecting bills, sending out bills, communicating with your stakeholders, all of these things need to come in and happen seamlessly or else you're gonna have a big problem on your hand because water utilities are one of those agencies that you know, you have a very public facing operation. Your people rely on you to supply water, not just in a clean fashion, but also at the right rates and at the right time. So it's very important that you pick the right software for your ERP system. So in this video today, we're gonna to talk about an overview of what that means for a water utility, how to go about selecting a system, who are the stakeholders involved, why it is important to have a proper project management team in place, and how do you measure success? How do you know that you've done this right? And how do you know that the project is done? So keep watching and we'll get into it. So today we're gonna to talk about the fascinating world of ERP systems in water utilities. So you might be wondering what is an ERP system and why is it critical for a water utility? Imagine it as the central nervous system of your operation. It pulls together different functions within your organization and creates a comprehensive look at your operations. Everything from financials, HR, payroll, timekeeping, time management, asset management, depreciation, compliance, all of those wonderful things need to come together and, and that can happen through the use of a proper and a good ERP system. So it's like a conductor of an orchestra, right? All of these instruments playing their different tunes, they all have to come together to form a symphony. That's what an ERP system does for you. That's what a good ERP system does for you. So it's really important that we go through this process of selecting the right product that fits your organization. So how does this fit into the world of water utilities? Let's take a step back. Our water utilities are intricate networks that deal with everything from supplying water to billing customers, to keeping customer information safe, to making sure that water quality is at the highest levels, because that's the one thing that our customers rely on. And the ERP system acts as the backbone for keeping all of these things together. Consider this, managing a water utility involves you keeping track of the pipelines, the billing systems, the networks, the water tanks, the pumping stations, all of these things that are so many moving parts that you have to keep track of all of those things not just at a detail level, but also as executives at a very high level through dashboards and reporting tools. Now, specifically in a state like California, we have multiple challenges. We have challenges like wildfires, droughts, uh, regulatory compliance that is different from many other states, and all of these things need to be kept track of. So these challenges are exactly why you need a good ERP system. This is where ERP systems really prove their worth. They're a really good tool to navigate all of these complexities and to provide the right solutions and the service that the citizens deserve. With an ERP system, you're not just dealing with problems, you're anticipating them, you're planning for them. And as our technology evolves, ERP tools are getting more and more efficient, they're getting more robust, they're getting more intelligent. With the use of things like AI, ChatGPT, and generative AI, you can really take advantage of these tools going into the future. You no longer have to rely on green screens and older systems to make your utility work. The tools exist today, you just need to tell them what you need them to do. So a really important part of undertaking an ERP implementation is really identifying what your requirements are, making sure that you're documenting them well, and then communicating them well with the vendor community. Because you don't wanna go out into the market and say, I just need an ERP system. You really wanna tell the vendors what you're looking for, looking into the future, and really putting your thinking hat on on how you want these tools to work for you.